Yo, what's up guys? What's going on? It's Dread and I am back with another video. We're on Madden and today I got the New York Giants, my favorite team. And I'm really sad to say they're my favorite team because it has been a rough, rough start to the season. Oh boy, almost as rough as that. Uh, it's been a really bad start to the season. They're 0-3 and it's been some pretty tough losses. I don't really quite want to say ugly, but they've been ugly. Uh, the team hasn't really looked good. Daniel Jones has been one of the few bright spots. I don't think anyone would have predicted that. Uh, the team's been struggling. No denying that. Uh, so we're going to hop into Madden. We're going to play every single game of the season and see if we can win with this team. Uh, I'm going to make it a new series. It's going to be my franchise that I roll with. Uh, we're going to maybe make trades, try to set up this team for success and see how we do. I really don't have high hopes. Honestly, I don't. Um, I have no idea what to expect. Also, I finally got the Xbox, the new one, the Series X or whatever. It just got it just got to me last night. We hooked it up. I have not played a single game, and I have no idea what to expect from that either. So uh, we're going to run it with that today. This is the squad we're running with. This is how we got it set up. We got Pert in at right tackle. I guess I simulated the preseason already. Um, I guess the computer signed Osemele for us. We'll take that. He's going to help at guard. He's a big upgrade over what we had. Skura is starting at center. Um, we got Tony in at wide receiver number three over Slayton, but Slayton is the slot guy over Tony, so Slayton will probably get more snaps anyways. Um, Evan Ingram's going to start at tight end, but we're probably going to get Rudolph involved a good bit. Tay Crowder at linebacker. Uh, McKinney is going to be our sub linebacker, so he'll play, a, he'll play a lot even though he's not actually starting anywhere. I really like this team. There's a ton of talent across the board. There is. Ojulari's a good outside backer. So far, at least, he's gotten three sacks in three games. Safeties are good. Corners are good. They just haven't quite lived up to expectations yet. Offensively, we got receivers for Jones. We got Barkley, but Jones and the offensive line are rough. It's, it needs a lot of work, but we're going to have a lot of fun rebuilding it. This is my favorite team, like I said, so I got to get a, I gotta get a champ with them. We got to be successful. We're going to upgrade players and hop into the first game. If you guys enjoy content like this, please consider dropping a like, dropping a sub for me. It helps me out a ton. It makes it so much more fun for me. All it is is one click, and it does help. So if you guys want to do that, that'd mean a lot. If not, that's okay too. Just keep watching the video. Let's upgrade players. Let's see who we got. I have no idea who we're going to have here. Um, hopefully someone good, though. We're just going to upgrade the players that matter. Dexter Lawrence, that's a good start. Sexy Dexy. He's going up. We're going to boost his run stop. We want him to be a beast in the middle. He's up to an 83 overall with a temporary plus one boost. Looks like he actually upgraded a ton there. Uh, we're also going to improve Matt Pert. we got to get that pass protection up because it's not good. 64 overall now is bad. Uh, really didn't improve much there either. We're also going to go get Danny Shelton, and we are also going to boost his run stopper. He's up to a 78 overall with plus two, uh, plus two to his overall. That's solid. Uh, Tay Crowder, I guess I'll upgrade him, even though he's probably not going to see the field a ton. Field general it is, and he is going up a decent bit. He had plus speed, plus man there. Of course, we got to get Barkley up. Man hasn't been able to hit the hole quite like people want him to. That's always been a knock on him. So we're going to go straight, and we're going to improve power back. Let's see how he goes. Dang, these upgrades aren't good. One break tackle and two trucking is nice, though. We'll take that. Uh, we're just going to upgrade the rest off of however the computer wants to do it. I'm not going to waste my time with those guys. We're going to hop into the first game. We got the Denver Broncos. Let's get into it. I'm super excited. All right, we're hopping into the first game, guys. That's the first time I've watched an introduction to a game. And as someone who, like, as I've said, absolutely loves, like, franchise and the, like, display of everything, seeing the new setup on the new Xbox is so nice. I was so disappointed this season with uh, how the new setup looked, just like the improvements that they made from Madden 21 to Madden 22. Now I can see the improvements, now that I've got the new Xbox. I see where all the effort went, and it's making me happy. It finally feels like we actually got an upgrade to the game. I have no idea what the actual gameplay is gonna feel like, but I'm excited off of that first, uh, first introduction thing. All right, we got the ball, what can we do? I got Barkley here, man. It feels so good to see Barkley out there again. I know he hasn't had a crazy start to the season, but still, the man's has been playing some decent football, and uh, he's he's still so much fun to watch, even if he's not, like, breaking off runs every single play. We start him off with a carry right there, only three yards, but we'll take it. It's a start. It's a start. We got to start. Okay, this new setup is different, like, choosing plays and stuff. I messed up my play call twice there. Uh, Barkley's going to cut it back, get knocked down for three, or er, for two. 
Yeah, two yards. Oh well, that's kind of that's kind of his thing there. That's the problem with Barkley, I guess, this season. I don't want to say problem because I still think he's amazing, but he like dances around a little too much, bounces around rather than just hitting the hole and going. I was guilty of it right there. I was controlling him to do that, and that's something I gotta I gotta get better at. Evan Ingram is open, makes the catch. Oh wow. Okay, turning up field is different. Uh, but we picked up 10 yards there, so that's a good first first pass from Jones. And Ingram held onto the football, so we'll take that. That felt very very weird trying to trying to get him to turn up field. This new uh, this new setup, it's or the new the new Xbox. It definitely feels different in a, such a good way though. Barkley right there picks up seven for us. That's his long carry of the day so far. I guess we're literally like one set of downs in, but that's nice. Good to see him getting a big carry. We're gonna just grind with Barkley, although. I actually shouldn't do that because injuries are turned on. We do have injuries on. Slayton gets a catch right there. Justin Simmons wraps him up. Uh, but yeah, injuries are turned on. Players can get hurt in this, so I do need to be aware of that with Barkley. I can't be giving him the ball every single play as much as I'd love to do that. Uh, we, do need to, we do need to be aware of that. So I'm uh, going to be watching out for injuries. We'll see. <laughs> Jones misses a pass right there, and it's going to go for a pick six. No way! I don't know what happened there. It looked funky. Simmons tipped it and then somehow managed to get back down and pick it up off the ground. That was an insane interception. And I'm not thrilled with it. We're not going to play uh, kicks. I never play kicks. I always just simulate them. Um, if you guys have been watching the channel for a while, y'all know that. But for whoever may be watching this video that's new, I'm lazy so I don't waste my time with them. That was ugly. Unfortunate from Daniel Jones right there, but we gotta gotta expect that somewhat because he is not a great quarterback right there. Good rush from Barkley. He's up to 26 yards on the day. That's a good start. That's a good first quarter for him for sure. Let's see if we can get some of our other weapons involved, like Kenny Galladay, our big free agent signing. I'm still super excited to see what that man does in a Giants uni. Has not been the most uh, most electric start to the season so far, but I tried to throw the ball there. I guess I had Jones in some weird animation. That's probably my fault. I'm getting too distracted looking downfield. Oh well, uh, we're gonna we have to come back and we have to attack him downfield a little bit because this is uh, we gotta gotta find a way to get some yards back after that sack. That was a bad play by me. Um, but yeah, we gotta we gotta figure out how to get how to get uh, Galladay more involved on the run. We're gonna throw it up. He makes the grab. Beautiful throw from Jones and beautiful catch from Galladay downfield. We said we wanted to call his number. He comes up big for us right there. That's 17 yards after we lost eight on the first down. We gotta get one yard here, that's all I need from Barkley. Blocking is plenty solid to get it done. He's gonna find a crease. He actually ends up picking up a solid five yards right there. Barkley's looking really good for us to start this game. Uh, we do need to keep him going though. We absolutely have to keep him going. Uh, I do wanna get Kadarius Tony involved too. He's our rookie. He has not looked great either, although one of his catches was really nice this past weekend. Uh, but we definitely wanna get him more involved than what the Giants have been doing so far. I don't know why the Giants haven't been getting them involved. I don't know if it's I don't know if it's him struggling in practice or something, so they're not wanting to give him the ball. I don't know if it's Jason Garrett coordinating poorly because I truly believe that's one of the biggest issues for the Giants. Um, but they haven't gotten him involved a ton. I'd like to get him involved a ton. So we're gonna work on that for sure. This drive right here is looking really, really nice. Jones has been hitting all his receivers. The receivers have been making the catches. Barkley's been running well. We're looking good here. I love what I'm seeing. Let's get another first down here, and then we can start thinking about maybe trying to get it in the end zone. We're gonna go to Galladay. Nice, I like that. They kind of like actually show him uh, show him popping a move there rather than just kind of cutting blandly. I like that. Um, yeah, let me know. Uh, let me know what y'all think the the biggest issue for the Giants is. I definitely definitely have my opinions on why I think the Giants are struggling as much as they are, but I'm curious to see what everyone else has to say. Um, there's. There's a clear, there, there's some clear issues I think, and some other stuff that's more up for interpretation. Uh, but I'd really like to hear what everyone has to say. So let me know what y'all think. Uh, they're clearly not performing at the level that they could be. Uh, Slayton's wide open. Jones hits him, and that's the first touchdown of our season. Daniel Jones finds Darius Slayton in the end zone. And we're gonna tie this game back up. Now it's gonna be time for the defense to come out, which a lot of people thought was gonna be the strength of this team, but so far this season, it has not looked like that is the case. It has looked like that's actually a weak spot. Let's see if we can get a stop here. Uh, come out with uh, come out with the boys and get a big stop. That'd be awesome. Danny Shelton gets pressure. He 
Oh, Teddy Bridgewater throws it up to Tim Patrick. And uh, Jabril Peppers is going to be there with the coverage to knock the ball away. We'll take that. That was solid. Solid play downfield by him. I would have loved to pick there, but we're, uh, we're not mad at the incompletion. Oh, I blew that right there. But Aziz Ojulari, he gets his first tackle of his NFL career. That's good to see. We want to get him involved early on. Same as Kadarius Tony. We want our rookies to develop. Um, so let's let's make it happen. They're going to get some outside zone play. And Adoree Jackson, the, another new free agent signing, making a big-time play right there. He stuffs Melvin Gordon at the line. And we're going to get the ball right back just like that. All right. What can we do? Jet sweep? You know what? We're going we're gonna to try to be more creative than Jason Garrett. We're going to give a jet sweep to, I guess, Darius Slayton right here. I thought it said it was going to Galladay, but it looks like it's going to Darius Slayton. He's going to get the ball. He's going to turn it upfield. It's going to be a nice pickup. Not a crazy big play, but six yards right there on the run from Slayton. Good, good play. I like that. I like the creativity. I really want to see the Giants do more stuff like that, but they can't just bring, uh, bring Tony out and run the most obvious play with him. They've got to get more creative about when they call stuff up. I tried to swerve Alexander Johnson right there, but he's all over Daniel Jones. Not going to be a good play. We need three yards right here. I think we can get that. We can get three yards, right? Let's see what Saquon Barkley can do for us. Oh, he's got a gap. Oh, I overran it. And they're going to call us short. Yeah, that's short. We're going to run no huddle, and we're going to come back and run the exact same play right in their face. Nope, that play. Uh, it should be easy first down here, and it's going to be. Barkley making another nice play. Mance has 45 yards on eight carries so far. Over five yards a carry. I think that's what a lot of people are expecting from him this year. It's been a slow start to the season, although last game was a little better. He was... He was getting a few runs and a lot of catches. Uh, he finds a seam right there once again and picks up another eight yards. Good, good play on first down. Ah, man, I keep choosing the wrong play. Shoot. We're going to run a quick pass here for Daniel Jones. Might try to roll out with them, depending on the looks we're getting. Uh, Sterling Shepard, no overthrown by Jones. Kareem Jackson way over pursued that, put himself in a terrible position. He should have had a pick there, to be honest. He should have had a pick. Uh, not a good throw from Jones. Probably a bad idea for me, too. I shouldn't be throwing back across the body like that. Uh, we're going to put Tony on a slant here. Him or Galladay should be open. Should be easily open. And Tony is wide open. I thought Tony was wide open. I guess it turns out he was not. We get the ball knocked away. It's incomplete. And we're going to punt. I do want to make this uh, franchise like somewhat realistic, too. You know, We don't want to go for it on fourth down every play because that's just not... Especially not what the Giants do. Um, so... We're going to punt there. Ah, I'm so bad at tackling. I'm so bad at tackling. McKinney should have had an easy tackle there. He does, I think, end up with at least an assist on the tackle, but didn't look as nice as it should have. Seven-yard pickup by Melvin Gordon there. We do need to keep slowing him down as it looks like the momentum is swinging towards the Broncos after their stop on fourth down, or on third down. So we need to get that momentum back. That's the moral of that story. And we're going to lock up Melvin Gordon. Maybe not. Man, that guy has some nice speed. Teddy Bridgewater slings it out of bounds. Momentum swings back towards us a little bit. I like those momentum factors. I don't... Uh, I'm not actually sure about how I feel like it's going to affect the gameplay, but I like it. I like the idea behind it, at least. All right, Jabril Peppers. Let's make a play, Pep. Come on. Oh, I tried to bait him. We're going to come up. I couldn't get a Dory Jackson over. Interesting. Okay. That was uh, that was a lot slower for us. That's <laughs> not good. Not good. And they have unlimited stamina. That's actually crazy. All right. We got to we gotta shut them down. We got to get some momentum back. This isn't looking good. Okay. Incomplete pass again. And they lose their momentum. All right. Interesting. I really... I'm. It's so interesting. I don't know how I feel about that. Uh, all right, come on, let's go, boys, let's go, let's get a let's get a turnover. I don't get many turnovers in Madden anymore. I used to get a ton, but not anymore. Nice tackle from Adoree Jackson right there on Cortland Sutton. That is only Teddy Bridgewater's second completion of the day. So defense is looking good. If we didn't have that uh, that pick six by Jones, we'd be we'd be thriving right now. All right, we need to get Logan Ryan down. Mans needs to cover Noah Fant here. Let's get a let's get a tackle for loss. They're probably gonna try to throw it. They are. We are all over Noah Fant with Logan Ryan. There's pressure from Lorenzo Carter and Danny Shelton. Teddy Bridgewater gets it away. Smart play right there by him. He's going to get the throw away. We almost had a sack, and they are going to go for it on fourth down. 
Fourth and three, and they're going to see what they can do. What are they going to do? They're going to run it probably, right? Oh, let's go! Let's go! Beautiful play by Blake Martinez. He sheds the block and lights up Melvin Gordon in the hole for the stop on fourth down. What a play. Beautiful, beautiful play. Let's go. Uh, we're going to try to run something here to get some nice running yards, uh, running room for uh, Barkley here. Let's see what he can do. Uh, it looks like the screen's covered. We're going to throw it anyways for some reason because I don't know. Uh, and it's going to be a pickup for next to nothing. We need to play conservative here. I do want to take some time. <sighs> we're just going to run the clock out to half. There's no, we got to try. We got to try, right? We're going to try to push the ball down the field, but nope, nope, nope. Okay, yeah. They're going to call a timeout. We're going to force them to call another timeout here. I think I'm just going to run it again. And uh, we'll see. We'll see if we can get anything. I don't. I don't know. We'll see what happens. I'm not. I don't know. I don't have a lot of faith in getting much done here. Barkley gets outside. Might pick up a yard. Force him to call another timeout. Take a few seconds off the clock. We're going to try to boom a punt to him. Riley Dixon needs to do something big for us here. We definitely don't want to let them get back into field goal range. That's a nice kick. That should be really good. It is pushed a little bit right for some reason. And KJ Hamler gets lit up by Josh Jackson. He has nowhere to go. And with 11 seconds left, you gotta figure they're not gonna. No, they might be trying to push it downfield. Never mind. I thought they would. Uh, I thought they'd be giving up for sure and just kneel it down. But it looks like they're gonna try. Um, he's gonna get a completion to Noah Fant. James Bradbury on the leaping tackle. He gets the shoestring on a nice jump right there. Good play from Bradbury. Uh, we have five seconds left. They're going to try a Hail Mary here. Let's make sure they don't pick it up. All right, what are you doing? What are you doing? Come on, come on. All right, we knock it away. Honestly, I couldn't get McKinney into position there for some reason. But Teddy Bridgewater, 3 for 8 for 51 yards. They only put up 7 points. That's not bad. We're going to throw it short for our offensive focus because we do need to get uh, a little more... A little more, um, a little more yardage and a little more urgency, I guess, behind our offense. And we're gonna work on shutting down their run because we were shutting down the pass pretty well. So we need to get, uh, we need to make sure Melvin Gordon can't beat us. If he beats us, that's gonna be tough. Let's see what we can do. First play, Melvin Gordon gets the carry. We're almost there with Blake Martinez, but just short. Nice strong tackle by Holmes, though. He drags down Melvin Gordon after like a 10 yard pickup. That's too, too much. We gotta slow him down more than that. Martinez, you gotta be our man in the middle. So sad to see that he tore his ACL. That's a huge loss for the Giants defense. He's their, he's their leader, really strong player, tackler in the middle for him. Dang, he gets shoved off right there after I just called him a strong tackler. Um, but yeah, it was, it was a really tough loss for him. The Giants are not deep at linebacker either. Uh, I like Tay Crowder. I'm not a fan of Reggie Ragland, though. Uh, he's probably going to be their guy that fills in for Martinez. So definitely, uh, definitely, definitely sad to see. I think that's going to be tough, a tough loss for them this season. But hopefully, hopefully he does something good for them. Uh, oh, come on. Dang. We tried to put an emphasis on stopping the run, and Melvin Gordon so far is having his way on this opening drive of the second half. We definitely need to slow him down. I don't want to, like, fill the box, though, because our, I just don't want to spread our secondary too thin. Right there, good coverage, Martinez. And Dexter Lawrence, sexy Dexy, makes a play. He brings down uh, Teddy Bridgewater. I was looking down at the score and saw the Chiefs. I almost said Patrick Mahomes would have looked like a fool. Glad I didn't make that mistake. Uh, Blake Martinez is manned up on Cortland Sutton here. Thank goodness they went with a short route. Darnay Holmes, nice strong tackle once again. Sends him out of bounds. But uh, pick up not a bad gain, I guess. Like six or seven yards. I guess that's not crazy. Uh, let's get a stop here. Let's force, uh, let's force McManus to have to hit a nice kick. Let's see what we can do. Nope. Wow, wide open on the outside. KJ Hamler, I think he tore his ACL last week too. Super sad, rough weekend for both the Broncos and the Giants in terms of injuries. Uh, but the Broncos at least picked up another win. All right, we can't get off the block with Martinez. Melvin Gordon shoves off Aziz Ojulari. Lorenzo Carter brings him down at the eight yard line. Big, big carry right there. We have got to find a way to slow him down. 
and we have got to find a way to hold the Broncos out of the end zone here. I do not like this formation. I hate getting spread out like this. we got to find a way to get a stop. They're going to come inside. Yes! Oh, come on, come on. Okay, okay. We're going to get him for a big loss here. Going to get him for a big loss. I don't even know who picked up the sack there, but great play by them, whoever it was. Uh, Lloyd Cushenberry picks up the fumble. He does return it for a few yards, unfortunately, but still, that was a pretty solid loss. We'll take that. The zones are holding up pretty well for the most part. We're getting good coverage. We just got to hold on to it a little tighter. And, oh, no. I almost blew out James Bradbury, but Jabril Peppers saves the day. Saves a big mistake by me right there. We have got to get a stop, though. It's third and goal. Get a sack here or get a tackle for loss, and we're looking good. If we don't, it's not good. No, I chose the wrong way. Dang, Noah Fant burns us in the end zone. Tay Crowder gets turned around, and they pick up a touchdown. Noah Fant's a great young tight end. Can't be too mad about that going up against Tay Crowder, but definitely not what we wanted to see. We do need to score here now. We're going to come out. We're going to look for the rookie on this play. We may also go to Sterling Shepard. We'll see. We'll see what we're liking. Uh, Kadarius Tony's going to get the catch. Good block from Barkley downfield. Tony gets dropped by Bryce Callahan, though. Beautiful tackle by him. We do not have a whole lot of offensive production right now, so we've got to figure out how to get the get the passing game going, I think, a little better. Let's see if we can hit Slayton here. Wait on it, wait on it. Boom. Daniel Jones, nice pass. Slayton downfield. He's all the way down to the 39-yard line. Justin Simmons knocks him out of bounds, but that's a great pickup. Um, let's see if we can get another nice completion. We might want to, yeah, I want to keep the pressure on him, honestly. Keep, of course, the quarter ends. But right now, if you see, they have a ton of momentum. We absolutely want to keep the pressure on and take back the momentum. If we can get a touchdown here, that'd be huge. We got a couple of a couple of nice plays to start this drive. It's man-to-man, -man and Evan Ingram should be... Maybe it's not man-to-man. -man. I read man-to-man. -man. Oh, my God. Did you see Jones get leveled? I guess I made the wrong read there. I thought it was man-to-man. -man. I thought Evan Ingram was wide open. I think it was also a bad pass, too, but Evan Ingram was not wide open. Bryce Callahan was sitting on that route the whole way. I get burned on it. That's my second interception of the day, and that one is my fault, 100%, no denying that. We definitely need to figure out a way to get downfield quick here. We may be able to, get, uh, to keep ourselves in this game if we can score here, but we got to score quick. It's not looking great. We're having, uh, they got momentum going, it looks like. Okay, block for us, Ingram. Come on, man. Ingram doesn't block, but Daniel Jones, wow, late hit out of bounds. I guess Daniel Jones doesn't go flying. It looked like he got taken off his feet, but I guess that was just a weird animation. Uh, good pick up there from Jones. He picks up a nice, solid game. The clock is running, even though he went out of bounds. That's a great feature of Madden. Um, we're going to go outside. Darius Slayton makes the catch. Ingram, I guess, gets enough of the blocker. He doesn't make the tackle. Slayton picks up almost a first down. We're going to try to run a play-action play here and hit him over. No, we're not. We're going to run the ball. Dang it. I chose the wrong play again. Got to stop making those mistakes. We run the ball, pick up five. Now we're going to run the play-action play. Try to hit Slayton deep here or Sterling Shepard, but I'd prefer to go to Slayton. We're going to actually go underneath to Kenny Galladay, who's open, makes the grab down the field. 13-yard pickup right there. Nice catch by Galladay. Now let's see if we can get it in the end zone here. Maybe we go to Galladay again. Maybe we go to Kadarius Tony. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Uh, Galladay's not going to be open, so we're going to go underneath to Tony, who makes another grab, his second catch of his rookie debut. We're down to the 11-yard line. We have got to get this in. We're going to look for Evan Ingram across the middle. It's not going to be... Oh, I forgot he cuts back up. I thought he cut outside there. I was remembering the last play. That scared me. I almost made a big mistake right there. Almost cost myself big time. Doesn't come back to bite us. Colin Johnson is out on the field now. That's fun to see him. He had a nice game in uh, replacing the two injured wide receivers. And Kadarius Tony draws the guy off of Evan Ingram. Evan Ingram makes the catch, gets out of bounds for only five yards. Third and five, we've got to make a play here. <sighs> We're going to run slants. We're going to try to hit that first inside slant. Oh, man. This is, uh, this is tough. we got to score on this play. Might have been able to hit uh, Barkley out of the backfield. Didn't quite like it. Daniel Jones all the way in for a touchdown. Yes, sir. Daniel Jones runs it in. He comes up clutch for us there. That's a great play. Let's, uh, let's come back out. 
Let's play some good defense, hold them to no score here, get the ball back, and find a way to score again. We got to do it. Absolutely have to do it. We need to win week one. That's critical. We're not giving up. If we get burned right there, man, are you kidding me? All right, nope, nope, you're not getting... No, McKinney, come off of it. Or oh, that's not McKinney, it's Lorenzo Carter. I couldn't switch on to Lorenzo Carter. Oh, that would have been a pick for sure. Absolutely was an interception if I could have switched on to Carter there. Couldn't do it, and we pay. That's a nice pickup by Cortland Sutton. I think that was Cortland Sutton at least. Uh, KJ Hamler is wide open to the outside. And Teddy Bridgewater is going to throw it out of bounds. We'll take that. We'll take that. Clock stops. We don't have to call a timeout. We're going to hopefully be able to get a stop here and hang on to a timeout. That would be clutch. They're being foolish by trying to throw the ball here still. And we lock them up. We lock them. No way. Teddy Bridgewater on the run finds Cortland Sutton for a beautiful pass downfield. We had that locked up. Teddy Bridgewater moves out. And the lack of pass rush is going to result in another big play. He does go out of bounds, so we still don't have to call a timeout. But they're in field goal range now. we got to find a way to get them out of that, or it's game over. Blake Martinez makes the tackle there. We call a timeout. It's not looking good, boys. It's not looking good. We're going to come with another blitz. Got to put the pressure on and hope that uh, Teddy Bridgewater throws it. Oh, he does. What? What? How is he going to throw it? Go, Martinez. Go, Martinez. Please, please, please. Oh, it's a nice hit, and it's for a sack, but he doesn't fumble. Shoot. No. <laughs> Dang it. Ah, oh, man. All right, we got to blitz again. We have to. We got to get a sack. Oh, no. All right, they're smart, and they just run it. Martinez gets Melvin Gordon down. Two minutes, 11 seconds left. So they're going to come out and kick a field goal. Let's get this block. No, 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 no. Switch me on, switch me on, switch me on. All right. It popped up. I clicked it. It didn't work. We timed it. We timed it. We were there with Josh Jackson. I just, I clicked it and it didn't give it to me. No. Oh, geez. We had it. We had a chance and we blew it. I don't know. I don't know what happened exactly, but that was it. That was our shot to win this game and it didn't work. That is going to be the game. We're going to run the ball out with Barkley here. You can't get onside kicks in Madden. It just doesn't happen. So we, we lost this game, unfortunately. Alexander Johnson, nice strong tackle there. But still, it was a decent performance from a lot of guys. Daniel Jones and his interceptions is what cost us this game. One of them was my fault. One of them I don't think was my fault. But, oh well. Uh, we got to come out. We got to play better football next time. Was not a great start. Okay, what was that route, Ingram? Gonna hit Galladay here, and it's underthrown severely. Kyle Fuller has an easy interception right there. Ain't much you can say about that. It was kind of just handed to him. Bad throw from Jones. We're gonna run out the clock. Let them run out the clock, I guess. That is it, guys. Thank you so much for clicking on the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Rough, rough game to start the season. It's just, I mean, it's how it went in real life. In real life, the Giants got smoked. We got smoked here, too. A little bit better of a performance than what the Giants had in real life, but it wasn't good. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, though, still. I really do appreciate all the support. Please like and subscribe for more stuff coming out soon. I'm going to keep putting this series and a bunch of others out, and I hope you all keep clicking on them. I'll see you all in the next video. Peace, guys.